How would you pronounce these words? In this lesson, you'll learn how to decode multisyllable words by remembering that closed syllables have short vowel sounds. So vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, and consonants are the remaining letters of the alphabet. Every syllable has one vowel sound, and the number of vowel sounds equals the number of syllables. So one vowel words always have one syllable. Remember, long vowel sounds say their alphabet name, like A is in baby, E is in heat, I is in smile, O is in rose, and U is in music. And short vowel sounds, the A says A as in apple, the E says E as in egg, the I says I as in chicken, the O says A uh, as in octopus, and the U says A uh, as in umbrella. In a closed syllable, a vowel is followed by a consonant and makes a short sound. So here we have the vowel A followed by the consonant T, so this is going to say the short sound, cat. And in an open syllable, a vowel isn't followed by anything and makes a long sound. Keep in mind we're talking about syllables, so even though A is followed by the P, the word papper doesn't make sense, but paper does. Now some people want to always pronounce the vowels with their long sound. So this word they would read hey, pinees, and panther, rather than happiness and panther. Let's look at an example. Let's look at these vowels. Okay, are they followed by consonants? Yeah, they are. So let's try splitting it up and saying it with short sounds. Can not. Does that word make sense? Cannot? Sure does. So what we did is we looked at the word to find the vowels. Then we tried breaking the word into syllables so each vowel is followed by a consonant. Then we pronounced the vowel with a short vowel sound. And if it didn't sound right, we could have pronounced the vowel with a long vowel sound and moved where the syllables were. Let's look at a few more examples. Find those vowels and we see they're followed by consonants so we'll try splitting it right in the middle. Pup, pet, puppet. That works. Let's look at another example. Let's find the vowels. Are they followed by consonants? Yep, an S and a T. So let's try splitting it after that first consonant and say it with short vowel sounds. Basket. Basket. And here we can find the vowels O and E followed by the consonants M and T. So we'll split it after that first consonant and we'll say it with short vowel sounds. Comet. Comet. And finally, these vowels are also followed by consonants, so we'll try splitting it right here. Fin-ish. That works. Here we have a little passage. Once again, we're going to try to find the vowels, see if they're followed by consonants, and then pronounce it with a short sound. So the first word is going to be Kim. That first syllable, hap, pen, d, happened to see a plant. plant. Kim happened to see a plant. The plant, here's another vowel and consonant, had a, here's a vowel followed by a consonant, lit -tol, little, red, in sect, insect, on it. The plant had a little red insect on it. It was a diff fur and different bug. Look at all those vowels followed by consonants. So we looked at the words to find the vowels. We tried breaking the word into syllables so each vowel is followed by a consonant. We pronounced the vowel with a short vowel sound, and if it didn't sound right, we could pronounce the vowel with a long vowel sound. In this lesson, you learned how to decode multisyllable words by remembering that closed syllables have short vowel sounds.